Good. Michael Dieter has been awaiting a lung transplant at the University of Florida Health Center since December. I'm what you call high flow air. And because of that, I can't sustain myself at home. A dedicated team of doctors and nurses attend to him day and night. But that's not all. That's okay. Sensors and cameras track Dieter's every move in this smart intensive care unit, from vital signs to facial expressions and everything in between. Every place in this room will sensing something about you. Is this enough light? Is this enough, enough noise? Are you okay? You know, are you moving enough? Are you in your bed? Are you out of the bed? I think that's the future of how we will design hospital. More than 350 gigabytes of information per patient goes into a central computer, where artificial intelligence then processes the data. We could look at the patient and go, they're moving a lot. There's yes. something going on there. Or their face has a certain grimace Absolutely. to it that they normally Absolutely. don't have. Is it possible that it could tell you before I even know that I'm having problems? Yes, 100%. We will be able to decipher complex features, complex emotions like agitation or hunger. Funded by the National Institutes of Health, the high-tech experiment enters its third year. Researchers are still teaching the technology what certain actions like sitting and standing might indicate. The hope that AI will soon be able to provide real-time health care recommendations. Nurses, doctors, we spend a considerable amount of time paperwork, yes. translating the data we get. You will actually have a representation of the data in a way that you as a human can just understand and action. But will this new technology replace the need for humans in the hospital altogether? They are very simplistic uh, models compared to what our brains are doing. And I don't think that we should be worried about humans being replaced anytime soon. That this technology does take big burden off the physicians and nurses and provide them time to actually engage what we are here for, taking care of the patients. A new holistic approach to healthcare, where humans and computers work hand in hand. Dr. John Torres, NBC News, Gainesville, Florida. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.